Hello, learners and leaders. I am so glad you're here and ready to learn something with us. I am so excited to learn with you. This week, we are talking about Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. We have done some leaf math, we went and collected some leaves, we read a story about leaves, and right now we're gonna do something a little bit different. If you haven't done these activities and you wanna join us, have your grown-ups check out my website, I'll link it below, and have them look for the Leaf Man activity packs. Right now, we are gonna change the color of some leaves. You wanna see how trees drink? Come on, let's go. Learners and leaders, today we are gonna change the color of these leaves. Grownups, as always, I will put a link in the description to my blog with step-by-step -step instructions. This is a really easy one, try it at home. All right, let's do it. This is a pretty easy experiment, learners and leaders. You only need four things. First, we need a mason jar or a glass. I like a clear one so you can see what's going on throughout the experiment. Next, you need some water. I have bottled water, but tap water would be absolutely fine. You need some food coloring. I used red food coloring because it's easy to see, but you can use a different color if you want. Just make sure it's one that's gonna be easy to see. And finally, you need some celery. Um, I like a celery with plenty of leaves at the top, so it kind of looks like a tree. We have the tree trunk all the way up to the leaves. Do you drink water? I hope you do because water is an important part of keeping our body healthy. Did you know that trees and leaves drink water too? How do they drink water though? They don't have a mouth. You probably know that trees drink water through their roots. So the water comes in through the ground and in through the roots but it's a long way from the roots all the way up to the tippy top of the leaves in the top of the tree, right? How does the water get all the way up there? The answer is that trees have a special series of vessels and veins, just like we do. In plants, these veins and vessels or cells are known as xylem and phloem. Those are fancy words, right? Xylem is just a fancy word for the cells that take water from the base of the tree or plant all the way up through the leaves. And phloem is a fancy word for the similar vessels or cells that take nutrients and sugars from the base all the way through the top, basically the food. Over the next couple days, we're gonna watch as the xylem moves water from the base of our tree all the way up through the leaves. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get these leaves in some water. First thing we're gonna do is just pour our water into our glass. About halfway is fine. And then we're gonna add food coloring. I will put a link in my blog to which food coloring I use, but you use whatever food coloring works for you. I'm gonna put in about 25 drops That'll vary depending on how much water you have and uh, what kind of food coloring you're using. Just make sure that you get it really, really vivid. If it's too light, you won't be able to see it through your leaves. Okay, and kind of slosh that around a little bit, but see how vivid that color is? Now we're just gonna drop our celery in there. That celery's a little droopy. I hope it perks up as we go. Now we wait. It can take a couple days for that red water to move up into the leaves of our celery. So what's happening as we wait? Here's what's happening. The xylem is moving the red water from the base of our stalk all the way up into the leaves. It moves that water forward as water comes off the leaves in a process called transpiration. Transpiration is a fancy word that means water goes off the leaf and into the air. It's a little bit like people sweating, except like humans where you can see us sweat, you'll never see a plant actually sweating. As the water comes off the leaves in transpiration, it leaves a little blank spot where there's no water. 
the xylem moves water up into that hole, leaving another hole behind it. So it moves water forward and forward and forward from the roots all the way up to the leaves. It's a little bit like people waiting in line for a roller coaster and we're always moving forward, except in this case, the roller coaster is transpiration. I did these leaves a couple days ago and look at the difference between our starting leaf and these leaves. Look how much more red they are. You can see how the xylem has moved the water, the red water, all the way up through the stalk into the leaves. Look at that. And you can even see there are some spots on the stalk where you can see the red moving up. Isn't that amazing? And that's just a couple days. Learners and leaders, look at you learning all about trees and how they drink. Good job. Along the way, we learned some really fancy words. Let's review them. We learned xylem. Xylem is a word for the special cells in plants that move water from the base all the way up to the leaves. We also learned phloem. Phloem is a fancy word for the cells in plants that move nutrients and sugar food from the roots up to the leaves. And we learned transpiration. Transpiration is a fancy word that means water coming off of the leaves and into the air. It's invisible, we'll never see it, but the water is definitely moving out of the plants. Those are some really fancy words, learners and leaders. Look at you, good learning. So we took some stalks of celery, pretended that they were trees, and put them in red water so we could watch them drink. We checked on them after a few days and saw how that red had moved from the base all the way up through the leaves through the xylem. What should we learn about next? Let me know in the comments below. Whatever we learn, I'm sure it's gonna be great. If you wanna learn more about leaves, check out my website or have your grown-ups check it out. I'll link it below. Have them look for the Leaf Man activities. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can come along next time we learn something new. And if you liked this one, share it with a friend so they can come along too. Have a great day, learners and leaders.